Sup YouTube, today we're going to take to the skies in Il-2 Cliffs of Dover, flying a BF-110C4, which is the dedicated fighter variant of the BF-110. This video is going to be a little bit different than my previous videos. For the other videos, I wasn't on TeamSpeak with any of the other pilots in the server, and so it was easier for me to just talk over the gameplay footage to give you a kind of running commentary. But for this one, I was actually on TeamSpeak and had winged up with another pilot, who you'll see in the video. And I figured that for this particular one, it would be better to just leave the raw footage and uh, chatter that's going on in the video. So that you guys can kind of see the, the actual reactions to what's happening in real time, instead of having me comment on it after the fact. From now on, I'll probably use this new format anytime that I'm on TeamSpeak, and I'll use the old format anytime that I'm flying alone. I'll start the video by giving you guys a quick description of what uh, my mission is, what I'm planning to do, so that you guys know what's going on when you see it. And I will wrap up the video with the usual tactical summary at the end. For this sortie, my mission was to escort a formation of 12 JU-88 medium bombers to England to strike their targets and then escort them safely back to France to land. Missions like these are particularly dangerous for the attackers because you're attacking targets that are behind enemy lines and England itself is protected by the natural barrier of the English Channel and that means that if any of the attackers are damaged in enemy airspace, not only do they have to evade enemy aircraft and defenses, they have to actually make the trip all the way back across the English Channel, find an airbase and a safe place to land in France. And uh, if the damage is serious enough, you won't make it and you'll end up ditching in the, in the water. Because of that, the defenders will have a little bit of a natural advantage because they'll be able to bail out or crash land over friendly territory without having to worry about making the long trip back with a crippled plane. Fortunately, I wasn't alone on this mission because I was able to link up with another pilot, 450 Devil, who was flying a BF-109E4, and we decided to escort the bombers across the channel and back together. So without further ado, I'll let you guys sit back and enjoy my bomber escorting adventure. Oh no, still there. About 4,000 where it looks. Someone's attacking him. Flying over him. That might be me. That was his... Cruising clouds. It doesn't look like a one in oh, hang on, yes it is. I'm not Better buying. go over the top of it. Yeah, it's one in nine yellow nose. Bomber formation's gone uh, feet dry over Folkestone. Roger that. Are you approaching it from the right side of it? Yes, I am. Okay. Alright, I see you. I'm uh, just about past behind it. About uh, 400 metres above it.
Oh, I see a Spitfire. He's approaching. He's long 6 o'clock, maybe 7 o'clock from the formation co-out. I'm going to slip in behind him. All right, I think I see him. Yeah, it's definitely a Spitfire. Right behind him, mate. Yeah, I hit him, but I totally messed it up. <laughs> I only hit him like once or twice. That was a horrible bounce. Going in again, I see. How much a long six now? Oh, there's one, another one here as well. I just see over on my right hand side. Oh yeah, you got him. That's the one that I hit earlier. I totally lost sight of him. Stay down, he just rolled over and... Damn, oh, he's blowing me now. He's trying to climb up to get me. Oh, he's still... Okay, hang on. That's a spit too. Yeah. Alright, I'm pulling onto his six. Just keep up... Uh... I'll just keep climbing around here. Alright. Got him visible. Hold on. Bit. Okay, yeah, I hit him some. I don't yeah. know what the damage was. He's dropped off. He's going. He's dropping down. Okay. Take back to the bombers. Yep. I think they're under attack. Yeah. Are you coming up on my? Yeah. Yep. Gotcha. Circling left. Go around to the right in a second, stay with me. Can't see anything coming up behind. Yeah, it looks clear for now. Still got all the bombings we started with, so that's not bad. Yeah. I don't see any that are damaged either.
I got something out ahead of him there. Oh, I right see hand. it head on. Yeah. Yeah, that might be a bit. Wait, it's a big guy, I think. Okay. I lost sight of yeah, he's him. He's just gone through. He's just gone through. The bombers were shooting at him. Okay. And he's rolled over to come back. Yeah, I see him now. Oh, you're on him. Gave him a shot to sort of wake him up. Breakfast. Someone else is on him. Yeah, I just took a shot at him, but I don't know what kind of damage I did. Pulled, he's pulled round. I don't know, is he rolling? He might be rolling onto somebody six there if he just No, no, nah, nah, he's he's trying to he's going down, I'm above him here. Are you gonna let him go or just or stick with him? Uh he's trying to climb up again, so we'll Okay. I'll give you high cover. Oh, whoa, there's something on me. I'm pulling off him, he's just falling over again. Oh, I got a hurricane on my six. Oh, yeah. My rear gun uh, is... There's something else coming in on me too, that's a Spitfire. Climb up back up towards the bombers, these are two bugs. No. Yeah, I'm gonna try and chase the bombers, but this hurricane's moving faster. And, Where are you? Uh, I'm looking for you. My rear gunner is stupidly looking at the Spitfire instead of the hurricane that's shooting at me. Oh, uh, okay. I think I see you. Try and get Silly up to him. Alright, I'm gonna try and get to the... Whoa! Yeah, he's... Oh yeah, he's right. Trying to get up to you, he's firing. Take his mind off it. He's offering me a couple of shots. Alright, I'm gonna bring him around into you. Right, coming around on him. Alright, I'm gonna reverse so you can slip in behind. I'm gonna scissor to slow him down for you. Yeah, I'm coming on him. Doesn't seem to be worried about me. I've taken a couple of shots at him. Rolled, he's off you. Alright, I'm about to stall real bad, so I gotta. I don't know what's wrong with my plan. It's Try to get out of here. Oh. Alright. I want to get out, I'm going to go up. How are you? I'm I'm heading in the direction of the bombers, but I think my plane is damaged. Because okay. it's shaking and it won't stop. So I've got something me. behind me, but that's alright. He's just trying... Oh, it's bloody Spitfire. Right. Do you have enough speed to run? Hit me, but... I can outrun him. I can dive faster. Alright, if you really need the help, I can roll down and try to nah, do nah, something. Nah, nah, you stay up there. Stay up there. Okay. I'm just diving down. I just hit 600 kilometers an hour. He won't keep with me. Climb back up towards the bombers now. I'm down at uh, 2,500. I'm back up. Yeah. Up. Okay, I'm right six o'clock low to the bottom. I just saw something. That must be you, I think. No, that's, yeah, that's your twin engine. Yep. I don't know what's wrong with the plane. It's just, it's violently shaking, but it didn't take any uh, damage that... Uh, I think uh, there's something on your six. Okay, yeah, something diving oh, out shit, of water. yeah, I see it. Ah, uh, that's a, that's a fighter. Look where those two other yellow noses went. Okay, it's a BF-109, just dove on me. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, 
it's like it's on the verge of stall, but it's not. If I can get out of the knee. Uh, this uh, looks like a hurricane after you. Okay. Come around. Where are you guys? Uh, we're, we're feet wet just over Littlestone. Right, I think I'm gonna just dive it out and try to uh, get to the coast. Yeah, he's coming on your six. Quite no, he's climbing up now. Alright. Hang on. Yellow oh, nose, bloody hell. I see him. Oh, that's a BF-109? Yeah. Okay. Up on someone else, which is probably another yellow nose away we're going. Oh, I have a bandit, uh, my 5 o'clock high, according to my gunner. Oh, look, can't see anything. 5 o'clock high, should be here. So I reckon I'm much at 5 o'clock high. Okay, I'm just going to do a shallow dive down to Calais and then... Currently clear. Alright, thanks. Are you back there above me somewhere? Uh, I'm on your six. How old? Okay. Catch up to you and see if I can see what's wrong. My wings look okay, and the engines seem fine. I don't... Their temperatures are all good, and uh, I don't see any bullet holes in the wings, so I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the tail. Doing, I'm doing 470, and I'm having trouble catching you, so... I can't even tell how fast I'm going because the speedometer is going crazy. The needle's jumping back and forth between 400 and 500. Who's in trouble by the English point? I'm coming. Us. We're about midway between English point. Where it's just going under 3,000. All right. And what it is? Got all your and everything there. Oh, uh, flak bursts are going off. My, I see one. It's, uh, seven o'clock low. Almost go out. Yeah, I see it. Following us. Oh. Whatever it is, must be below the clouds. I've got you visual. Are you at my six o'clock high? Uh, 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 six o'clock long. How well? Okay. Alright, I think I see you. It's hard to tell because like, the screen is shaking. <laughs> <laughs> I can't really focus on any one object for the uh, motion sick. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna try and put it down here at Coquel Air Base, right next to Calais. Okay. Oh, that worked. When I throttled all the way down, 
it stopped to shake, so I don't know what's wrong with it. Uh, probably you've probably got a uh, bent prop or something like that. Oh, it might be. By a bullet. Yeah, he was he was lighting me up, but his aim wasn't that good, thankfully. And okay, I'll then... follow you around. Watch your tail. Okay. All right, and that's the end of the sortie, and I just wanted to thank 450 Devil for watching my back during that perilous journey across the channel in a crippled 110. Overall, a very successful sortie. We escorted 12 J-88 bombers across the channel, and all 12 of them made it back, none of them with any serious damage. Between the two of us, we got two confirmed kills on Spitfires and two probables. Uh, we actually got the points for the probables, but for the purposes of the video, I'm just going to count them as uh, unconfirmed because there was no witness uh, to confirm the damage done uh, for those two, even though we actually got shot them down and got the points for it. Um, as far as the sortie went, of course it was a nail biter at the end because of the mechanical trouble. Now. I still don't know exactly what caused the shaking. Uh, it could have been the bent prop, as Devil suggested. Uh, another theory that I have about it is that maybe during the time when I was scissoring with the hurricane, which is right when it happened, uh, right when he broke off of me, the shaking started. And I have a theory that uh, I actually over the engine and I think that when I was doing the scissors I was actually in a shallow dive and because the 110 has manual prop pitch uh, you still have to adjust it and I think that just my inexperience with flying the 110 kinda got me here because I wasn't aware just from the engine sounds that it was over revving and I think I pushed it too hard for too long and maybe the engine just kinda shook itself to death by <laughs> by uh, like moving too fast but uh, I think that's something that is definitely something I should learn from um, I will hopefully not make that kind of mistake in the future because it can get you killed if I hadn't been able to disengage and I hadn't had uh, yeah. friendlies in the area to cover me Friendly. then I would have been easy prey for any of those Thanks British for fighters who wanted to pick me up for an easy kill at the end. I hope you guys liked the video and the new format and if you did be sure to like or subscribe for more and I will try to put out some more IL-2 videos in the future. I haven't had a lot of time to play recently but um, hopefully I'll be able to manage my time a little bit to get more free time for the games that I love to play.